Welcome to Xar Template Tutorial Lesson 104 for the Xar Web Designer MX Premium Version 8 software. In this tutorial, I am going to be showing you how to integrate the Wild Slider Photo Slideshow program into your Xar Web Designer site. And the reason that I'm creating this tutorial is because I had a YouTube viewer request on how to integrate the Wild Slider program into the Xara Web Designer software. And when I say program, I'm referring to the photo slideshow, not actually literally integrating the Wild Slider program. You're not going to be able to go in there and just magically use all the options that are available to the Wild Slider program. I'm going to show you how to extract the information from Wild Slider and integrate it into your Xara Web Designer website. In other words, the photo slideshow is going to appear in your website. So I do want to say one other thing. This is not going to be a one part series tutorial. It's going to be multiple tutorials to help you get to the full understanding. So don't worry if you don't see the next tutorial yet. This is just the first part of it and there's going to be a few more videos until I'm able to break everything down for you to understand fully how to integrate this into your website. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you want to do is make sure that you have the Wild Slider program installed. And once you have that installed and open, let's go ahead and get started. Go ahead and find the pictures on your computer that you want to use. In this case, I'm going to use these two cars and I'm going to drag them into the program. So drag those pictures into the program and I'm going to close out this window for the pictures. And once you have those pictures in the program with the first picture selected, which you'll know is selected by looking at the blue highlight that's around it, we'll go to the bottom part of our screen and we'll give this image a title or in other words it's going to be a title for the photo slider and I'm going to call it the classic red car and for the description which is right beneath that I'm just going to write this is the description for the red car and then for the URL this is just referring to your website and we're going to write in a website URL. In this case, I am going to link to my personal website. So I'll write http colon forward slash forward slash dot after the www write dot xar. And I'm going to move my cursor out the way template.com. In the target, I'm not going to really talk about that. This is just going to be a brief overview of how to use the Wild Slider program. If there's other functions you want to know how to use, I can talk about that in a separate playlist and direct it towards dealing with the wild slider program. So once you write that in, go ahead and left click on the second image and you would give it the same information. In this case, I'm just gonna make up something really quickly here so that we can finish this tutorial. So I'm gonna write this is the classic black car. And then for description, the description for black classic car. And then for the URL, I'm going to link to Google. So I'm going to write HTTP colon forward slash forward slash www.google.com. And again, I'm not going to set a target. So don't worry about that. And if you want to know about it, I can make a separate tutorial on that stuff. So after we set something for both of these images, we're going to go ahead and click on the image that looks like a tool. And this is for your properties. If you left click that, it brings up your gallery properties. And we're going to go ahead and set a slider title for this. And this is just a generic title that we give it for the program to save it as. So we'll go ahead and call it the car show. Okay. And these are some options here beneath that for how your slideshow will appear. In other words, if we want it to play automatically, we would check that box. If we want to pause on mouse over, we would select this option and so on and so on. You can read through these options and decide what is relevant to you and what's not. And to the right of that, you have some more options that you can set. Again, I'm not gonna cover all that. You can decide what options you wanna use and what options you don't wanna use. So let's go ahead and click on the next option here that says images and left click that. And this is gonna bring up our options for that. And in this first section, you can decide how you want your photo slideshow to look. And if you click through any of these options here, it'll allow you to choose what you want your images to look like in terms of the appearance of your photo slideshow. I'm gonna just go with the first one and leave it at that. To the right of that, you have your parameters and the image size. And for the parameters image size, 
you can go ahead and left click on this drop down box and you can choose a predefined uh, size for your image or you can enter a custom one if you choose the last option here but what I do recommend is when you pick an image size make sure that your images that you drag into the program are already at that size that way you don't have any images cut off at certain parts and you can crop that in Xara Web Designer and then just export it as an image and then drag it into this program again you have some options beneath this that you can set and I'll let you decide what you want to set for that for image quality I would go ahead and set that to 100% just to ensure that your images look top notch for transition effect I'm going to set that to blur you can set it wherever you want it to and when you decide what you want to set it to leave it at that and then again you have some more options down here that you can set but I'm not going to go into that and let's just go ahead and move to the next part and I'm sorry that I'm kind of rushing through this but I really don't want to make a tutorial that's strictly about how to use all the options in wild slider if you already know how to use it if you don't I'll make a separate tutorial on a separate playlist that's directed towards that so I'm sorry if you feel a little rushed trying to follow me but I don't want to go through all the options if I don't have to because this channel is dedicated to using the Xara software so let's go ahead and click on the next option here that says publish and it will be at the publish to folder option and I do want to say something before I actually move into that don't feel like you can't ask me to how to use other programs I just don't want to put videos in this playlist that are not dedicated to using Xara Web Designer if you need to learn how to use this program I'll make that separate let's go ahead and move forward in the publish to folders it's going to choose what folder we're going to publish the files once we're done with making this tutorial you know and right now I'm not going to actually publish it because I don't want to do that yet I just wanted to show you briefly how to use the wild slider program so that you can know how to create your file but once you know, learn, get this far, we're going to hit close and we're going to actually save this so that we can use it in the next tutorial. So go ahead and save as and go ahead and give it a title and pick where you want to save it. In this case, I'm going to save it in the folder that is called pictures and I'm going to write the car show. And I'm going to hit, go ahead and hit save and save that there. And then I'm going to close this program out. So we're done with the first part of this series you know now know how to create a photo slideshow in wild slider in the next tutorial we'll talk about actually taking that information that we created and saved in wild slider and actually integrating it into the Xara web designer software so i hope that you enjoyed uh, watching this tutorial if it was helpful embed comment subscribe and i hope you stay tuned for the next tutorial have a great day